Hey guys, so, oh my god, <laughs> what have I done? Um, yeah, I thought I'd just show you uh, something that I've been working all day on and had some help from a couple of really understanding friends. Um, yeah, it's a twin touring car. Uh, the old main machine is gone. Um, I've still got the kit that was in it, so I'm saving that and I'm probably going to stick that in one of these. And then I'll probably stick the... Uh, another PC in the other side and network them together for uh, some link up Daytona and all the rest of it <clears throat> but I may just keep it as a touring car for a little while because you know it's kind of cool um, <laughs> as you can probably tell it's not without its problems <laughs> um, those marks on the screen like the uh, the marks here and here these are that's sticker residue so that's not um, that's not on the screen itself um, but yeah, this side is pretty screwed. Actually, this started just having a few lines running through it, and then it just kind of got worse. The colours started going wrong, and now it's just ended up like a mess like this. This side um, seems to work flawlessly right now, but when I first plugged it in and first got it, it did nothing, like nothing at all. So I don't know why this has all of a sudden just started working. Um, it's been working constantly for like, several hours now so I don't know but yeah it definitely needs work I mean it's not perfect uh, you've got one of the bulbs out over here both of the bulbs out over here not a problem because I've got replacements in the shed uh, I guess the top light works okay it's in pretty good shape I suppose not too bad um, yeah all of the rubber's gone on that uh, little footwell bit area thing there um, this one's not, well, I'll tell a lie, this is the one that was on my uh, other cab. That down there is the torn mess that was on there. But yeah, I'm just going to get some more rubber matting for that one because that's just bare wood now. Um, but it does have the backrests, which is really cool. Um, it's not in bad shape really, overall. Um, it does need some work. I mean, the sound on this side as well. In fact. This side pretty much works 100% except for force feedback. That's a really common problem with these, but I've got a few ideas as to what I'm going to do to sort that out. Um, and yeah, on this side the the sound effects work, but the MPEG board doesn't work. And uh, the MPEG board is the uh, the board with all the music on it. You just kind of get poppy, crackly static, and yeah, it kind of sucks. But I got the link cable working, and it's all linked up, and it's you know. It's all working fine. The artwork's not so great on the back. Yeah, it's been ripped off and stuff, but we'll fix that. But the side art actually is rather nice. I'm quite impressed with that. Stick the light on there. Yeah, that looks really cool. So, yeah, I mean, overall, I'm quite impressed, really. Considering it came out in 1996, um, I think it's done alright, to be fair. But, yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys what I picked up today. Oh, God, did I ever pick it up. It's so heavy. Like, God, every piece of it is just a nightmare. But I did have some help from some awesome friends, so that's cool. So yeah, I guess that's about it for now guys. I'm gonna have a look at that board over that side first. Um, I did, before it started going completely mental on the screen, um, I could actually get into the test menu and I managed to find out that a couple of the RAMs apparently were bad. I'm guessing maybe the other RAMs have followed, I don't know. It's super filthy in there, so I'm probably just gonna pull the board out, clean the crap out of it, see if that actually helps, because you never know, it may do. Um, but if not, I'll just replace the offending rams um, that it reckons were faulty. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll keep you guys posted and uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.